Once there were two salesmen of pots, pans, and handmade trinkets. They agreed to divide the town between them. They also said that after one has gone through his area, it was all right for the other to try and sell where the first had already been. One day, while one of them was coming down a street, a poor little girl saw him and asked her grandmother to buy her a bracelet. The old grandmother replied, "How can we poor people buy bracelets?" The little girl said, "Since we don't have any money, we can give our black sooty old plate." The old woman agreed to give it a try, so she invited the dealer inside. The salesman saw that these people are very poor and innocent, so he didn't want to waste his time with them. Even though the old woman pleaded to him, he said he had no bracelet she could afford to buy. Then she asked, "We have an old plate that is useless to us. We can trade it for a bracelet." The man took it and while examining it happened to scratch at the bottom of it. To his surprise, he saw that underneath the black suit it was a golden plate, but he didn't let on that he had noticed it. Instead, he decided to deceive these poor people so he could get the plate for next to nothing. He said this is not worth even one bracelet there's no value in this i don't want it he left thinking he would return later when they would accept even less for the plate meanwhile the other salesman after finishing in his part of town followed after the first as they had agreed he ended up at the same house Again the poor girl begged her grandmother to trade the old plate for a bracelet The woman saw that this was a nice looking merchant and thought He is a good man not like the rough talking first salesman So she invited him in and offered to trade the same black sooty old plate for one bracelet when he examined it he too saw that it was pure gold under the grim he said to the old woman all my goods and all my money together are not worth as much as the rich golden plate of course the woman was shocked at this discovery but now she knew that he was indeed a good and honest fellow so she said she would be glad to accept whatever he could trade for it the salesman said i'll give you all my pots pans and trinkets plus all my money If you will let me keep just 8 coins and my balancing scale with its cover to put the golden plate in. They made the trade. He left all his pots, pans and trinkets in their house. He went down to the river where he paid the 8 coins to the ferryman to take him across. By then the greedy salesman had returned already adding up the huge imaginary profits in his head When he met the little girl and her grandmother again he said he had changed his mind He is willing to offer a few cents but not his bracelets for the useless black sooty old plate The old woman then calmly told him of the trade she had just made with the honest salesman she said sir you lied to us the greedy salesman was not ashamed of his lies but he was saddened 
he thought I have lost the golden plate that must be worth a hundred thousand. So he asked the woman, which way did he go? She told him the direction. He left all his things right there at her door and ran down to the river. He was thinking, he robbed me, he robbed me, he won't make a fool out of me. From the riverside, he saw the honest salesman still crossing over on the ferry boat. He shouted to the ferryman, come back. But the honest salesman told him to keep on going to the other side and that's what he did. Seeing that he could do nothing, the greedy salesman exploded with rage. He jumped up and down, beating his chest. He became so filled with hatred toward the honest man who won the golden plate that he made himself cough up blood. He had a heart attack and died on the spot. Honesty is the gift of God that can bring you fortune. Greed is like poison which kills your faith in goodness.